We need to talk about what happened with Ethan. I'm so sorry. It was a mistake. I didn't mean to hurt him. I'm sorry. We're not comfortable having you here anymore. Just pack your things. You're leaving tomorrow. Goodbye. You didn't tell him, did you? No. I didn't say anything. Okay. It's fine. That was sucks anyway. I'll find a better one next time. But I don't really want to go. Fine. You stay here. Just weigh me down anyway. The wood is old. Walk by the sun, starting to crack. Now I see through a sudden calm. Comes over me. You realize that maybe I could possibly. This is your great granddaddy stuff. We gotta be careful. But it's our house now, right? Yes, Grandma did leave it to us. Ah, but you still gotta be careful. <sighs> One day, love, this house and everything in it is gonna go to you and Caleb. And you're gonna wanna pass it off to your kids and your kids after that, right? Mm -hmm. So you gotta take care of it. Okay. All right, go play. Careful with the ball. Wow, looking good, honey bunny. I know. Gosh, I love this place. I still can't believe my grandma left it to me out of all the cousins. Yeah, I think she realized how much home and family meant to you. I think she was a very wise woman. Yes, well, I just wish that I could stay at home 
all day with the kids instead of starting work so soon. Yeah, once this business gets off the ground, you'll be able to do just that. Mm, can't wait. Speaking of which, I gotta go. The prototype came out. Oh, okay. Love you. Okay. Love you too. I'm gonna need that. Yes. Thank you very much. All right, Alan, I'll see you tonight, okay? Bye, Daddy. Bye, buddy. Love you. Mwah. Okay. Have a good day at work, love. Thank you. See you guys tonight. Love you. Love you. Bye. Alan, honey, why don't you go check out that treehouse? Okay. Stay away from the ledge, okay? okay? All right. Recommendation for Nanny wanted. Part time Nanny needed for two wonderful children. Oh, Smokey, no. It's um, disgusting. Free room and board, plus a small stipend included. Nice to meet you, I'm Jen. Jennifer Russell. Okay. Oh, that was quick. Hi, side post. Hmm. You're moving out of town. That sounds perfect. Next weekend it is. Well, we're gonna take a little time with our decision, but um, uh, it's great to see you, and uh, you know, thank you so much for for taking time out of your day to, to come over, and we'll we'll, we'll be in touch. <laughs> Have a good day. Bye. What'd you think? I don't like that lady. She keeps calling me out. <laughs> <laughs> Next. wanted one of these. Hey, that's mine. Well, I'll give it back to you if you give me a high five. There we go. I'm assuming you're the Wells. Yeah, yeah are you? Jen Russell. <laughs> so nice to meet Hi, you. How are you? Nice to meet you too. Why don't you have a seat? Um, I'm Faye. This is my husband, Tim. This is Alan, and it's Caleb in the stroller. Looks like you've had a lot of experience for how young you are. Yeah, I love kids. I grew up with a lot of brothers and sisters, so I was always babysitting. Uh, then when I moved out here, it just kind of seemed like the natural way to pay my way through school. I studied psychology at the local university. Oh, wow, that's great. Uh, and you were with the Harpers for? Three years. Yeah, I was the nanny for Ben and Mark, but they're moving now, so. Well, they could not speak more highly of you. Oh. <laughs> All of your references really loved you. Yes, I mean, well, uh, before we're going to hire anybody, we're going to do a full background check, so that's, that's okay with you, right? Oh, of course, you can't be too careful. Yeah. The thing is, though, I do need to know pretty quickly the Harpers are moving soon. Well, I mean, that actually worked really well for us. We need someone before I start work next week. Um, oh. I don't know if Miss Harper mentioned it, but we only need someone part-time, so we're offering a small fee, and we're making up for it with free room and board. I think I could work with that. Great. Great. Well, I, I guess we'll be in touch. Okay. Yeah. Sounds good. Yeah. Thank um, you so much. Have a great day. Yeah. <laughs> See you, Alan. That. Bye. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. What'd you think? I like her. Yeah? All right. We'll see. Hey, Jen. Hey. Oh, come on in. Let me grab that for you. Oh. <laughs> oh, hey. This view is amazing. How's it stunning? It's everything I ever dreamed of. Thanks. Yeah, we think so too. You know, it used to be my grandmother's house, and my parents lived here. We've only been here for a few weeks, but it's already starting to feel like home. Here, why don't I show you to your room? 
Hey, Jen. Good to see you again. Hope you like the house. Thanks. How you doing? Good. How are you? Gonna show her to her room. Oh, great. Yeah. This house is beautiful. Did you decorate it yourself? Sort of. It's a little bit my mom, a little bit of me. But I think it works. So this is you, and we still have a few pieces to add, but that's beautiful. And this bed, it's all incredible. Yeah, you know, Tim wanted to get rid of some of this stuff, but you know, I slapped a new coat of stain on it, and I think I, I saved it. I love that, giving things second chances. Yeah. Come on, Jen Jen, come see my room. <laughs> OK. Where is it? It's upstairs. OK. This way? <laughs> it's going to be OK. All right. It's over. <laughs> <laughs> Morning. So I already checked. Caleb is still sleeping, but he'll probably wake up in an hour. So just make sure that Give you. Give him his bottle. Alan ready and take him to school. I know. I know I'm a helicopter mom, but I just, maybe I can push back starting for a day or two. Seriously, babe, you're going to have to leave him sometime, and it's not going to get any easier. Oh, I need to ask, what is it that you do exactly? Oh, um, you know, digital archiving. I work for museums, libraries, those sort of places, and we preserve their materials in digital form. You know, I'm pretty sure I could start work tomorrow. Seriously, babe. Don't worry about anything. I have all the important numbers, the kids' schedule, and if I need anything, Alan will help me, right, Al Pal? Uh huh, Jin Jin. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Just please don't hesitate to call for anything. And you have fun today, okay? Okay. All right, you hungry? You want some eggs? No. What about cereal? Kayla. Yeah. This is Faye Wells. Faye Wells, oh. Kayla Rapp. Uh, Faye's going to be helping us on the folio project. Great. Nice to meet you, Faye. You too, Kayla. I'm really excited to get started. Uh, so if you ladies don't need me for anything else, I'm going to get out of here. Oh, hey. I need to talk to you about the Manchurian Files. So. Oh, sure. Yeah. OK. I'll be right back. Have a seat. Yeah. Just, yeah. What's up? Hey, listen. Um, so the documents, I was just thinking about this. Yeah. You. What? Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. I was just first time leaving the kids at home with the nanny. Yeah. Don't worry. It'll get easier. <laughs> so let me bring you up to speed on everything. Yeah. Alan. Jen. Neighbors. Oh, what were you doing there? New friends. They have super cool video games and everything. Wow, cool. Well, just, just smile and hand her the flyer. Oh, hello. Hi. Uh, we're the Bensons. I'm Claire, my son Kyle, we, your neighbors. Oh, I'm the new nanny, Jen Russell. Oh, it's nice to meet you. Hey, I'm Kyle. Oh, hi, guys. Hi. Oh, we just uh, wanted to give you this reminder about the safari supper that we're organizing. It's basically an annual event for the block. We uh, make a dish, we go from house to house to house, and it's just a great way for the neighborhood to get to know each other. It sounds like a lot of fun. I don't know if I'm going to be able to cook something, though. Well, I can do it. I love to cook, so. Are you sure? Yeah, it's no problem. Uh, I'm late, though, so it was nice meeting you guys. Oh, nice. nice to meet you. Welcome. It's like you got a good one. Great. <laughs> Hey, guess who got a meeting with Rod Topping in Portland three weeks from today? 
Sounds fantastic. Uh, who's Rod Topping? Who's Rod Topping? What, he's only the owner and operator of the biggest sporting goods empire of the whole world. <laughs> and he's interested in the helmet your company's producing? Well, we're not producing it yet, but it's a, it's a prototype. But hold on. Oh, no, they all fell down. The car See, help? look, here. There she is, Spartan 3000. See, inside here, those are actually safety sensors all along the inside there. Oh, cool. Does it come in pink? Uh, no. <laughs> Honey, I, I think you're going to be late. Yeah, OK. Um, Bye-bye. Bye, -bye. Bye, buddy. I'll Bye, see you guys. later. You be good, OK? OK. Arr, all right. Yeah. Um, Jen, I'm going to be home late tonight. Is that OK with you? Oh, yeah, no problem. Uh, don't forget, though, you have the event with the neighbors tonight. I have most of what I need. I just need to grab a few things from the market. Right. Well, I can drop you by the store. It's on my way. Oh, perfect. Okay. You want to go, Alan? Mm -hmm. Let's go. Who is in the mood for an international adventure? Jen, I forgot to give you money. Oh, thanks. Yeah. <laughs> Alexa? Uh, I'm sorry, you must have mistaken me for someone else. I I'm sorry, you look like someone I knew. Oh, it happens all the time. I have a common face. <laughs> you know, well, um, you better go to work. You might be late. Oh, I'm trying to have everything I need now. Thanks so much. All right. Bye-bye. See you tonight. Hey, Ren, what are you doing here? I swear, Alexa, I, I didn't know you lived here. I promise I won't say anything. You better not. We all know accidents can happen. Hmm. Oh, I don't see it. Maybe it's over here. Um, I don't see it either. Um, what about the corner, around the corner? Uh, yeah, I think it's in this side. Oh. Hi. Hi, Tim. Did you get my message about that party tonight? I really think one of us should be home for it. Hey, I'm so It's a great party. Thanks. Oh, Faye. You saw what I did with the furniture? I wanted it to be a surprise. I hope you like it. I really think it improves the flow of the room. No, you know, I kind of liked it the way it was before. Oh, yeah. Hey. You having fun? Huh? Oh. Hey, there you are. Love what you've done with the place. And this one, what an angel, huh? <laughs> the hors d'oeuvres that she made, they're amazing. Thank you. Faye and Tim, how are you? No, I, oh. Actually, this is our nanny, Jen. This is my wife, Faye. I'm sorry. Oh. Nice to meet you. <laughs> the hors d'oeuvres are amazing. Please give her the recipe. Oh, <laughs> Jen actually made those. Right. Sorry. Do you mind? Oh, yes. Yeah, well, Tim Wells. Yeah. You sounds so familiar, man. Yeah. You played sports, right? Uh, yeah, a little bit, until I got injured and had to retire. But, um, I'm, I'm gonna go check on the baby. You want to drink? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Let's do actually, that. that led me into my new career. Um, I'm working with a company that's developing a smart football helmet. Nice. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Really? So we've, we've got a prototype going, and I uh, actually have a meeting with Rod Topping in three weeks. Congrats. So, yeah. Oh, Whip Topping himself? Yeah. Well, I'm yeah. sorry. That's great. Yeah. Whip Topping? Please tell me that's some kind of kinky nickname. No, Topping caught a pie <laughs> in the face from an angry employee last year. It was all via internet. No. He was super pissed. <laughs> okay, well, maybe don't use that in your presentation then. Yeah, you think? Maybe I won't. I don't know. Maybe I will. Okay, okay folks. Good advice. Time to move the party next door. Let's go. Follow me. House next door. Come on, Safar is up. I'm in trouble now. Excuse me. Uh, yeah. Time to go next door for soup or salad or um, I'm, I'm going to stay here. Uh, someone, someone should stay with the baby. I, I kind of just want to clean up a little bit before going to bed. Uh, did you see the furniture? Yeah, it looks great. Yeah. Oh, yeah, hold on. Yeah, it really opens the room up, huh? OK, you know best. All right. Bye. Listen, I'm going to go. Jonathan might be interested in investing. So it could be big. OK. okay. All right. OK, good night. See you, Bye. Bye. See you Love later. Love you.
Breakfast. Yeah, that's right. Oh, actually, I don't feel so good. Are you gonna be able to get out of bed at all today? What? Oh, that's not mine. Someone must have left it here last night. Um, I'm, I'll feel fine. Just go. I'll get everything together. Don't worry about it. <sighs> okay, I have to get to work. detail on this is just beautiful. Yeah. So after we're done with this, what's the next step? Well, once this is all scanned, we'll present it to the board, and assuming we get approvals, we'll move on to the other collections. Okay. Mm. Oh, what happened to her? She said she wasn't feeling well today. Oh, God, a killer hangover will do that to you. Digital archivist. I have two sons, mm -hmm. Alan and Caleb. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's lunch. You want to go? No, I have to get home. Clothes. Oh, um, I playing dress up. I must have fallen asleep. Where are the kids? Uh, Where are they? I'll do better. Do better. You almost killed Caleb. Jen, obviously we can't trust you with the kids anymore. You need to go now. But I have nowhere to go. I'll be homeless. Please just let me stay till at least the morning. All right, fine. You can stay the night, but tomorrow you're gone. <laughs> Babysitters available on such short notice. You know, 
I don't want to leave Jen home alone anyway. Maybe I should just work from home just until she leaves. What you hope will be any minute. Look, I gotta get going. You sure you're okay here alone all day today? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Call me. Love you. Love you too. Okay, be good, all right? Okay. See you later on. Alan, honey, are you okay here for a moment? Mm -hmm. All right, I'm just gonna go check on something. Jen? Jen! Seriously! Jen? Open up! Jen! I need to know what time you're leaving! Jen! When is your ride getting here? Who are you? What are you doing in my house? Yo. What are you doing? You can't have strange men in my house. <sighs> Want to get your financial house in order? Alan, honey, are you okay? Did he touch you? <sighs> yes, hi, can I get the police at 211 Maple Drive, please? There's a strange man that is in my house. No, he didn't exactly break in. No, he didn't threaten me. When can you just get here? Thank you. All right, Alan, honey, let's go find your brother, okay? the door now. Who the hell are you? Who the hell are you? <laughs> Bye, baby. Mm. <laughs> Later, baby. Hey, just what the hell do you think you're doing? This is our home. You need to get out now. Do you hear me? Are you listening to me? Uh, not really. Damn it, you need to... <gasps> oh! You perv! Oh, no, I, I... Oh, my God. That is crazy. What happened? Huh? I don't know. She's nuts, okay? We just need to get out of here. Now, we need to call the cops. to me here. Your address is on here, ma'am. <laughs> it's because she used to live here, but she doesn't anymore. She was our nanny and we had to let her go. They just kicked me out without any notice. I told them I'd be homeless, but they didn't even care. Okay, everything was fine until Mr. Wells started hitting on me. And then I guess Mrs. Wells just got jealous or something because she just told me to leave. That is a lie, she is lying. Hey, it's true. I saw it from my window. Mr. Wells pulled the towel right off of her. He's just saying that because he is in love with her. Faye, it's true. I saw it from the window, too. 
Where's your husband at, ma'am? He, he went to go buy locks, but we have to change our I locks I wouldn't let him now. do that, ma'am. Look, I understand you want her out of your house. The fact that she's receiving mail at your address means that she's established residency. According to the civil code, you can't prevent her from gaining reasonable access to the property, nor can you remove her private property. This is our house. We have small kids inside. What are we supposed to do? You'll have to evict her through the courts, ma'am. Would you like to press charges against Mr. Wells? No. I just want to go to my room. I haven't been feeling well. That's probably because you're still hungover. She almost killed my son. Ma'am, you have to take it up with the courts. I suggest you let her back in the house, let her get her things, do you understand? You understand? Yes. Look, this makes no sense. How can they force us to keep her here? Tim, please calm down. Calm down? Do you hear that? It's 1 AM. What? What? You have to stay away from her. You can't go near her again. Again, what is that supposed to mean? Tim, she told the police that you sexually harassed her. <laughs> and Claire next door saw something about a towel? No, I, I tried to get her attention. I grabbed her arm, and then she dropped her towel on purpose. The girl is a nut. You, you don't believe her, do you, Faye? No. I mean... I just don't understand why you would lay a hand on her in the first place. I didn't, okay? It, it wasn't like that. So what are we supposed to do now? They said we're supposed to file a three-day notice. <sighs> three days. Would you please keep it down? Tim, honey, don't. Finally. Power went out? That's it. No more water, no more heat, no more food. You might be living in there now, but we're gonna do whatever it takes to get rid of you. Tim, stop. She's filming this. Alan, honey. Stop being so mean to Jason! That notice goes on that door tomorrow! Hey, you want to check those specs out? I'm good, man. We're good. All right, I gotta, I gotta. We'll catch up. Yeah. So, anyways, uh, I don't know. Need it. Okay. Seriously. Hey, you want more cereal, buddy? Okay. Can I use these? Sure. Mommy, I didn't leave you this time. Yep, I think so, hun. I hate you! Alan! Alan, get back here! 
guess all it took was an official looking legal notice. Maybe she'll be gone by this weekend? Let's hope so. Mommy, what's that? I don't know, honey. Come on. Tim? Tim, what's going on? There's a moving truck out front. I don't know, I just pulled up. Watch out, Alan. Can I help you? Hey, uh, Jen Russell? Uh, downstairs. Oh, thanks. She's finally moving out. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, excuse me, sir. No, that, that stays downstairs. Uh, Miss Russell said that it goes. No, I'm the homeowner. That's ours. That stays downstairs. Okay, but we won't have any room. What? In room for what? No, 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 sorry, nothing's going in today. No, that's not. It says here, bought and paid for by uh, Jen Russell. Delivery two. <sighs> She's redecorating. Just... <laughs> what is going on? I... Hi, may I help you? Do you think you pay well? Yeah. You've been served. What? She's suing us? For just $20,000? All this can go away. <laughs> <laughs> 20, that, what, 20, you're crazy. <laughs> yeah, right. Tim, honey, honey, we have to get a lawyer. Alan, honey, come here. The game, Mrs. Hudson, is on. Let's see. Well, she's definitely suing you for interference of quiet enjoyment of her residence. Are you kidding me? Look, she's the one making all the noise. She's not even a resident. We hired her as a nanny. We gave her a room. She's not a nanny anymore, so she needs to get out. Yeah, you would think, but not in the state. The laws here are very tenant friendly. Look, I wouldn't even let someone crash on my couch, let alone move in. Once someone's in, good luck getting them out. Now, I assume she's not doing anything illegal on the premises. No? Well, that's too bad, because if she were, we can get an expedited eviction. Listen, I just want to be clear with you up front. This can get very, very costly. Perhaps you should be thinking about Maybe um, paying her off to leave. I wouldn't pay her a cent. Mr. Halden, we can barely afford to pay you. All right. I understand that. Let's see. You've already filed for a three-day notice. That's good. The next step is to file an unlawful detainer. And in about, in about a month or so, we'll get a hearing. A month? What are we supposed to do until then? <sighs> she stays in your house, and you supply her, provide her with uh, whatever services you were committed to originally, like water, power, food. Food? Well, maybe not food, but everything else. You need to supply it without complaint. And I mean this, all right? This is serious. By law, she's considered your tenant. And that means you are prohibited from any coercive acts which entice her into leaving. Do you understand? You must leave her alone, unless you want to wind up with her owning your house. This is, this is ridiculous. Maybe we should take the kids to your mom's. Just until she's gone. Are you kidding me? I know. But I have that presentation at the library to prepare for, and you've got your trip to Portland coming up soon. I just think that would be 
easier and safer for all of us. Yeah, maybe you're right. I'll call my mom tomorrow and then we'll, we'll drive him up over the weekend. But let's not say anything about what's going on, okay? It'll just scare her, make her worry. Yeah. We'll just know that the kids miss her so much. <laughs> I was just bringing him his pillow. He was, he was crying. Look, just, you're not even supposed to be here. Get out. Now. I want to stay with my mom when we drop the kids off this weekend. I mean, there's no reason for us both to be here. No. I am not going to let her run us out of our own house. Look. Full screen. They're eating our food. Ugh. Whatever happens, don't come down. You're not supposed to eat our food. <laughs> We're not eating it. <laughs> what does that mean? Did you put something in our food? Sandwiches. Like, you need me then. 
Jen, that was pretty funny the other night in the kitchen, wasn't it? With Mrs. Wells, like, freaking out on you and all. All right, how did you know? I saw it on the cameras. Oh, that stupid teddy bear camera thing I don't know about? No, 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 I'm talking about the new ones. What? Yeah, they're, like, all over the house. <laughs> you know what? I'll show you. Okay. Sometimes hacking at people's laptops and nano cams just for fun. See? Okay, that is creepy. They've been watching me this whole time, those pervs. Oh, they are so gonna pay. Gentlemen, good to see you. Thank you for having me today. Uh, as most of you know, I received a traumatic brain injury, which ended my football career for good. Now, I really believe that if I had a helmet like the Spartan 3000, it would have never happened. So as you can see, with the inflatable lining and flexible shell. Hey, Tim, let me, let me stop you right there. I took this meeting because I'm a fan of yours. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. Not so much because of your football playing, but how you turned your life around after the injury. Now, we've seen these kind of flexible helmets before, so I want you to tell me something. Other than that, is there anything else that is proprietary about this helmet? Uh, yeah, actually, sir, the, um, the innovative aspect of the helmet is the sensor which is built into the lining. So say a, say a player gets hit in the head. Coach on the sideline gets notified just how hard the actual impact actually is. Okay. Like this. Um, okay. <laughs> this, here we go. Um, it's supposed to, uh, <laughs> uh, let me see here. I, my apologies. That's all right. Um, she cut it. Tim, why don't you do this? Why don't you come back when your product is more ready? Sir, I can explain. Uh, let me just pop through here. And... Get him out of here. Out of here. Get him out of here. Sir, I... Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. I didn't, I didn't do that. I can explain. I'm sure you can't. Do it from home. And tell your wife a village is missing the idiot. I think our chances look good. She's representing herself, which is always a good thing. I think we have a, a really good shot here. And it's always good, you know, to have the upper hand. Oh, damn. Looks like she lawyered up. Um, these guys are 600 bucks an hour. They're big time lawyers. How can she afford to pay them? You don't want to know. Let's just go to the other room, okay? That's how we arrived here to this point. So what's the bottom line? The bottom line is that she is using and abusing the system for profit. Your Honor, as you can see, the young lady was hired as a nanny and her term of service 
is clearly over. There's no reason not to grant the eviction to the Wells. Thank you. Okay, Mr. Decker, what's your response? Your Honor, what Mr. Alden failed to mention is the room was provided in exchange for work. Work for which the Wells did not even pay my client minimum wage. After which she was harassed and fired. We have a police report detailing the illegal lockout of my client. We also have proof of <laughs> intimidation tactics, if I may. No more water, no more heat, no more food, okay? You might be in that room now, but I'm gonna do whatever it takes to get rid of you. Most importantly, the three-day notice posted on my client's door, it's defective. Here is the notice posted on my client's door. As you can see, there's an extra L on the end of Miss Russell's name. That can't be. I have no choice. I'm ruling that the three-day notice is defective. You're going to have to start the eviction process all over again. Well, over a typo? That, that's, that's crazy. Look, that's, that's the way it works. I'm sorry. And we ask that the Wells pay all of my client's legal fees. So ordered. Next case. That's how she affords that lawyer. We're making you pay her court costs. Look, I can't do this. I can't do another six weeks of this. Six weeks? Tim, Ken said she could drag this out for another year. Did Ken say something about a, a quick eviction or something if she does something illegal in the house? Forget it, Tim. Forget Tim. what? Huh? We're prisoners in our own house. We're afraid to have our children in the house. We, we're afraid of her food. I think we should just pay her off. Pay her off with what? Huh? You just lost your job. <laughs> I, I'm about to lose mine. And these bills are out the roof because of her. Why don't we, why don't we just sell the car or... Oh, okay, or, yeah, you know, let's sell the, sell the car. Why don't we just sell the house? Or better yet, why don't we just give the house to her? Huh? I never want to live here in the first place. So, it looks like you won, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> and I really helped you, right? I mean, with showing you the cameras and hacking into Mr. Wells' presentation and all. It's sort of like you owe me. <laughs> Please. You're gonna have to do a lot more than that to get my thanks. <laughs> Man, you are such a bitch. You pretend to be nice to get what you want, but... Actually, you know, I can always tell them what I know about you. Really? And what is that? I know about that creepy boyfriend of yours, that he's like a drug dealer, and he's always giving you drugs. I wouldn't do that if I were you. Why not? <laughs> Trust me, you don't want to know. Right. Can you just... No, that's that's not the person that I talked to. No, I want... No, I, I can't hold, okay? I, this is this has gone on way too long. We've been here for, for weeks, and our mail is not coming, and now I'm really upset about it because this is... This is... I'm just... I keep getting the, turn, the runaround with all of this. 211 Maple. Yes, I'll hold. Yo, Tim. What's up, Kyle? Man, that guy's such a creep. Can't even believe you let him into your home. Yeah, not my choice. Yeah, I got it. It's all about what she wants. Such a bitch. And a complete user. More ways than one. What do you mean, like drugs? Yeah, you didn't know that. That guy's like a total dealer. He's always giving her something to shoot, snort, or whatever. I mean, look at it this way. Do you really think that she's doing him for free? 
No, 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 no messing with the evidence. I got you now. I'm calling the cops. Illegal activity means immediate eviction. Just let me in my room. This is ridiculous. Absolutely not. No oh way. Oh my god, you're here. He was filming me naked and you won't let me back in my room. No, no, that's bull. She has illegal drugs on her nightstand. I saw her on the bed shooting up with a needle in her arm. I saw, I got the whole thing on tape right here. Go ahead. Right on the nightstand. Everything's right in there. Here, man. Mm -hmm. That's all I found. Yeah, you mean my medication for my diabetes? I was just <laughs> diagnosed last week. I can show you the receipt for my pharmacy for my prescription. What? No, 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 no. Mr. Wells, you realize this is insulin. So you're just gonna film her while she's unclothed and then you're gonna trespass in her room? No, 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 I saw her on her bed. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. With her drug dealer boyfriend, which she had a needle in her arm, Come sitting on, on the you bed. Rack I saw it. Silent. I'm really sorry for your inconvenience. Is there anything else we can help you with? No, just thanks for coming. You guys are making a big mistake. You have no idea what's going on here. Girl's nuts. Uh, we see this all the time. I can't believe that he was coming in my room and filming me. I want a restraining order. I don't want him anywhere near me. Tim? Tim, honey, what are you doing? What happened? Tim, what happened? What happened? Ma'am, I what? need you to please what is back happening? up. Just what back is, up, ma'am. What is happening? I need you to back up. Why is my husband in the car? I just need you to car? back up for a moment, ma'am. What is Please. <laughs> Every day, dedicated pet. Now that little performance of yours was very helpful. <laughs> My pleasure. Right? Yeah. All right, I'll uh, call back later this afternoon. Thank you, officer. Look, Faye, I've, I've done all I could here. It's just that uh, he's really gonna need a criminal attorney. Uh, look, I wanna be straight with you. You need to be prepared for a big lawsuit here. She's gonna come after you in civil court for this. I've seen all this kind of thing before, do you understand? It's what she wanted all along, it's a big payday. Tell me, when can he come home? He can't come home. His arraignment's tomorrow, but she has a restraining order against him. He can't come anywhere near the house. Look, I, I know this is difficult for you, but in the end, I, it's all gonna be okay. I promise.
<laughs> hey, Faye. Join the party. No? Mm, poor Faye. <laughs> you should have just paid me off. I might have just left. But now, I kind of like it here. You know, with all grandma's little knickknacks. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Faye. We're almost out of wine. Don't worry. I already put it on the list. <laughs> There you go, Alan. Eat up. You too, Timothy. Thanks, Grandma. Yeah, thanks, Mom. Thanks for having us here, too. Oh, honey, I love having you guys here. I just wish that Faye could be here, too. Daddy, where's Mommy? Mommy's at home, buddy. Actually, I'm gonna call Mommy right now, okay? okay. Eat your pancakes, all right? Eat up. Are those pancakes good? Everything all right? Yeah, I just I just don't understand why you can't come here. All right, there's plenty of space. Babe, just please consider coming. All right, I the, the kids the kids want you here. I want you here too. I just don't want you in the house all alone. It's it's not safe. But I do need to be here. Someone has to, and now that you can't. Look, I know, I know. I'm sorry. Okay, I just look. I know you were right all along. She, she played me. Okay, but I don't. We'll, we'll just pay her off. Okay. All right, we'll sell everything we have to get her out. The car, the house if we have to. Now your cousin will always had an eye on it, so maybe we can just sell it to her. Tim, it's too late for that. Don't you get it? Even if we wanted to, we couldn't sell the house now. No one will buy it with a problem tenant like Jen. We're gonna have to take her to court to get her out. Faye. Faye, hey. I have to go. Well, the paperwork appears to be in order this time, and as Ms. Russell didn't bother to show up in court today, I see no reason not to grant the eviction. Your Honor, I'm so sorry, but the bus is late. It's okay. <laughs> Ms. Russell, nice of you to make an appearance, but unfortunately, you're too late. I've just granted the Wales an eviction. But Your Honor, I have proof that I filed for bankruptcy. Wait, what is that? Your Honor, please. Ms. Russell's trying to game the system. She obviously filed for bankruptcy in order to halt the eviction. She actually filed these papers a couple of weeks ago. I'm sorry, but in light of the recent bankruptcy filings, I have no choice but to grant an automatic stay on the eviction. Next case. What is this? I'm sorry, what is she, she found a loophole. I did the best I could. I'm sorry. Hey, what just happened in there? Filing for bankruptcy gives tenants certain rights they wouldn't normally have. It puts a stop to all evictions. Okay, so just when do we get out? When does she leave? It's maybe hard to say. I'm going to file a motion in bankruptcy court to lift the stay, but in my experience, it's another two months or so. Two? What? Are you... You're... Hey, Faye. Come here. Easy. Why Easy. Is okay. Why is this happening now? Come here. Come here. Just relax. I just want to do the gift for kids with my nice No. Yeah, just breathe, okay? Calm down. Just breathe. Tim, no. That's just not gonna work. Faye, listen, I really think it could. Ken was talking about some company that specializes in this. It's called dumping. They buy the house from us at a discounted price and then Jen's their problem. Tim, I grew up in that house. They can't just have her take it from me. And from our family. Look, I know that it was your grandmother's house. Okay, but she always said that family was the most important thing in this life. She'd understand. <sighs> Fine. Do whatever you have to do. Thanks. I'm sorry. 
I know someone who has that same tattoo. Must be pretty common, I guess. No, no, it's the exact same tattoo in the same spot. Betsy, would you mind finishing this up? I'm gonna take my break. No, uh, no, excuse me. I, I really, I really need to talk I, I to you. I can't talk right now. I, 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 please, I just, if you could just talk to me for just a minute. Please, I, I, it'll only take a minute. You, you can't be back here. Listen, just please listen to me. A, a few months ago, I came in here with my nanny, and and you called her by a different name. And I thought maybe you just might know. I don't. I don't remember. I'm. I'm really sorry. Please, please. This is important. If if you know anything, I, I don't know anything. Just please leave me alone. If Alexa thinks I'm talking, she'll kill me. Yeah, I've got everything. I'll meet you at the Realtors at nine. Okay. Useless. Tim? Yeah. I think I'm gonna be late. I gotta run to the supermarket. I think I know someone there who knows who our nanny really is. No. No, 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 no! What's going on? I need your car. <laughs> Forget about it. I'm seeing the way you drive, and before you threaten me, keep in mind that you just had sex with a minor, which I still think is a crime. Give me the keys. <gasps> what are you gonna do, stab me? <laughs> <laughs> what did you do? You should have just given me the keys. Come on, let's go. I, I can't move my heart. Hey, just leave me, I won't let's tell anyone, I swear. Come on. Go for a long ride. Jen, I, I need to get to the doctor. So we'll get you there. In the trunk. I'm not, I'm not getting in there. Did I stutter? Get in the trunk. Jesus. Shit! Shut up! Here we go again. People in trouble with their money. We're, We're broke. broke. I'm broke. We are cutting up the credit cards. Please help us. Hey, Ren. We need to talk. I can't, Alexa. I have work. Just get in the car. Okay, there you go. Thank you. Have a good day now. Excuse me, sir? Yeah? I'm looking for a girl who works here. She has a butterfly tattoo on her wrist. Oh, yeah, who isn't? Must be talking about Ren. Ren? Ren Rulin? Yeah, she just went on break and never came back. Kids. <laughs> do, you, do you by chance know anything about Ren? Uh, where she's from? Uh, she's from a small town nearby. Sugar, Sugar Grove. Sugar Grove. Mm -hmm. Thank you, thank you very much. Sure. Well, if you find her, tell her she's fired. Hi. I, I was hoping you could help me. 
I work downstairs. I'm searching for a girl who used to live in a town nearby. Sugar Grove, I think it's called. I know her name is Alexa, and I'm guessing she went to school there. Is there any way that I can search through the high school yearbooks by name? No, I'm afraid we just, we, we haven't got that facility here. But I do know that we've got every copy of the town's yearbook, and they go back to the early 1950s. Actually, I know she was friends with a girl named Ren Rulin, this girl. Well, I recognize her. I mean, she was the young girl that was involved in that house fire about five years ago. It was terrible. A fire? Yes, yeah, so it was a young teenage girl, and she set fire to the family foster home. Do you know the name of the young girl? Oh, I sadly know. But, what do you think? You could look up the newspaper articles that covered that time period, and I know that we've got those on the microfiche in the back office. Follow me, I'll show you. There you go. Thank you so much. And if it helps at all, it was five years ago. I'm pretty certain that the fire took place in the summer months. So I would start your search, say, July, August, five years ago. Thank you. Good one. Alexa Dodge. Gotcha. Please, just take a look at the photo. You can see that it is the same woman that has been living in my house. I don't know, ma'am. I need this by end of the day. Please, just, just look at the tattoo on her wrist. I'm telling you, Alexa Dodge is Jen Russell. Her friend at the market even called her by that name. And what's the name of this friend? Ren Rulden. She works at Sam's Market. I just don't think she's on today. I'll look into it. Thank you. Where are we, Alexa? This looks like the desert. Stop. <clears throat> you need that. I told you I'm not Alexa anymore. Sorry. Just please listen. I didn't tell that lady anything. I, I wouldn't. Let me out, and I will never go back to that town, ever. It's OK. I believe you. The only thing is, it doesn't really matter anymore. <laughs> The house is clean, Mrs. Wells. There's no one inside. We'll leave a cop car out front just in case she comes back. Wait. You believe me now? We dusted the room for prints and certified that Jen Russell was actually Alexa Dodge. And she's actually wanted for arson and homicide. Officer Seymour. Excuse me. We got a call for a turned vehicle. I think we found the kid you're looking for. We ID'd Alexa Dodge. She's been announced dead. Copy. You can stop worrying, Mrs. Wells. They found Alexa Dodge. She's dead. She's dead? Car accident. Her and the neighbor, Kyle Benson. He was severely injured, but he did verify that Jen stole the car and crashed it. No, I, I, I have to call my husband and tell him that he and the kids can come home, right? Sure. Thank you.
Can you give me the pine wood? Hop on in. Come here, buddy. Come here. Oh. So, Mommy, can we stay with you guys from now on? Of course you can, honey. This is your house. And can I have ice cream? <laughs> I will get you a new bowl. Never mind. <laughs> Look at what I have. <sighs> All right, Alan, honey. You ready for bed? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Probably just a fuse. I'll go check it out, okay? Mm -hmm. It's okay, honey. It's probably just something wrong with the fuses. Said. Jen? You mean when she was your nanny? Mm-mm. Um, but, honey, we explained this. She's not coming back. She's gone. She's just right here. Alan, come on. Let's go find your dad. This is all your fault, Faith. You should have just paid me off like all the others. But no. You had to go nosing around in my past. So now, you're gonna pay. I like this house so much. And guess what? I'm never gonna leave. You or Alan. I'll find you. No. Please, Jen. No, Alexa, please just let the kids go. They didn't do anything wrong. Good lesson to learn, Alan. Life's not fair. I mean, just look at me. I never did anything wrong. Yet, they moved me from foster house to house to house. It was, it's like a safari dinner. 
Oh, Except excited. it was my life. Alexa, I, I know. I know. I know it wasn't fair. I'll, I'll make it right. I'll sign over the house to you. I'll, I'll, I'll do anything. <laughs> How dumb do you think I am? Some of a whole bunch of old bullshit in here. What's the good stuff, bitch? You don't know? I don't know. I don't know. You know something. No, I don't. Oh, you don't? Okay, no, I don't. Okay, okay. I know what you want. I know what you want downstairs. My grandmother's collectibles, please. Please. I knew it. And you better not be lying, bitch. No, no, Officer Seymour, we just learned that the body ID'd as Alexa Dodge was really Rin Rulin. Lock all your doors. We're on our way. This is your fault, no, bitch! No, no, no. Still run. You can still go. You're, you'll be safe. Just go. Just. Just I, I, go. I need a hostage. No, Come no. On. Let him go. No. Let him go. Let me have him, or I'll kill him. You follow me. He's done. <laughs> you need, please. Alexa Dodge, drop the knife. Alexa, just please let him go. Alan, honey, go, go down to the cops down there. I don't understand why no one ever loved me like that. No one ever did. Oh God, oh God, Alexa. No, no, Alexa, no. Oh God, even my mom didn't want me. That's not true, that's a lie. My foster mom told me my mom couldn't wait to get rid of me. I was back from the start. No, Alexa. No, your mother loved you. She got sick. She had to give you up. She couldn't take care of you. No, you're lying. No, I'm not lying. I can prove it. I have proof, please. No. No. No, I'm not gonna let you go. Yeah, I'm gonna need you all to come down to the 
I'll have a car come through and pick you guys up. This is what I do when I walk hard out the stairs. Alexa! I'll see. I'll get you that article about your mother. It'll explain everything. It's gonna be okay. All right, come on. So now we're moving back to live near Grandma and another new house? Yeah, honey, we're selling that house to my cousin and her husband. So we're gonna move closer to Grandma, just, you know, in a smaller house. And Jen, where will she live? Jen's getting the help that she needs. And she's got a room all to herself. It's really nice. Without a dream.